can't believe I'm all out of water on the hottest day of the year. I wish I could drink all that cool water, but I'm unsure if it's safe. I hope this ain't river water. So how's the water treating you? Who are you? Me? I'm Drink Water Man. You called upon me when you touched this magic button, hailing me all the way from the New Orleans drinking water supply. So you're not from the Mississippi? Well, it's a funny story. I actually am. But it's been quite the journey. I'll tell you all about it. You see, I hail all the way from Lake Itasca. It's a glacial lake all the way up in Minnesota. Can you believe that? I started out as melted snow. Well, just about four weeks ago, I got tired of hanging around in the land of 10,000 lakes, so I decided to hitch a ride on the river and just see which way I was destined to flow. Along the way, I passed by the great states of Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, and finally made it to Louisiana. And while they were gracious enough to let me pass, I also began to feel a little sick. You see, a lot of farmers use pesticides and fertilizer, which run off into the Mississippi when it rains. And there's factories and sewage lines that spill chemicals into the water as well. And then there are those ships and barges carrying all kinds of stuff up and down the Mississippi every day. It's safe to say that by the time I reached the Big Easy, I was in need of a little pampering. So you went it clean, kid? I'd do anything to get as pure as I did when I fell from Mother Sky. You sure about that? It's a real tough process. We gotta deal with sanitation, acidity levels, we gotta deal with bacteria and debris, all resulting in 135 million gallons of water per day. But there's a chance I can get clean. You'll get clean, all right. Are you a team player? Well, I met many of folks along the way, so yeah, I consider myself one. Well, good, because we're gonna be working with chemicals and gravity throughout this process. Right now, we're at the Carrollton Intake, right here, where Monticello Street meets the river. Trash and the water are filtered by a grate here and brought to the Carrollton treatment plant up the road. So what's the first step? The first step is coagulation. Coagula who? Coagulation, or clumping. See how you got all these bits of debris on you? Well, what we're gonna do is add some coagulant chemicals, ferric sulfate and polyelectrolyte. These are going to be mixed fast and dispersed in the water. The chemicals are positively charged and clay and silt in the water is negatively charged. Opposite charges attract. You see, they're going to form larger clumps so they can be easier to separate in the next step. Flocculation. Oh, I think I've heard about this step. This is the one with the paddles, right? Is it going to hurt? Nope. The paddles are going to stir slowly to make the clumps denser and bigger so that they'll settle more easily to the bottom. Think of it as a nice shiatsu massage, letting all your tension and stress slip away. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. Next is sedimentation. You're going to have to rest for a bit while you're in the sedimentation phase. In the basin, those heavier clumped together particles sink to the bottom where they will later be collected and deposited back into the river. Meanwhile, you'll be transferred into another basin. Oh, and what happens there? It gets a little rougher, but not too bad. This next step is disinfection. You see so far, we have only separated grime and debris from you, but we, what we haven't acknowledged is all of those nasty germs and bacteria. To get you sterilized, we add trace amounts of chlorine and ammonia just enough to destroy the pathogens, viruses, bacteria, fungus that cause disease, and not enough to harm humans. I didn't even know I had all that in me. After this, you're almost done. Lime is added to adjust the acidity or the pH of the water. pH is a measure of whether something is an acid or a base. For example, an acid would be like lemon juice and a base would be like bleach. Adding lime will neutralize the acidity of the Mississippi water so that it is closer to pure water. So I'm ready to drink now? Not quite yet. You've got to go through fluoridation, step six. 
Now, the last thing we add is fluorosilic acid. This is for maintaining oral hygiene among the New Orleans population by strengthening teeth and preventing tooth decay. We want to help the kids prevent cavities. So now am I ready? The last step of the process is filtration. By now, most of the impurities are out of the water and only a few remain. You'll be pulled down through layers of carbon and fine sand by the power of gravity. Once you're out of filtration and into storage, then you, good sir, are drinkable. Finally. <laughs> you're gonna be taken from storage into the pumps and brought all over the east side of New Orleans. Algiers has a separate but similar system for the West Bank. The workers at both these plants work day and night to make sure you're clean and tasty. Then all you gotta do is go to the homes of the New Orleans residents and quench their thirst. It's a big commitment to the health of the New Orleans residents and visitors. Are you up to the task? More than anything, let's do it. And yeah, that's how I got here. Wow, that's incredible. You went on such a journey. You looking good, Water. Thank you. Well, I think it's time I gotta go back to the rest of the water cycle. It was nice meeting you, and hopefully I'll see you again. <laughs>